1 پی ایم پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی عبد الرافع سہیل فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر انوگریٹڈ تھرڈ یونٹ آف کراچی نیوکلیئر پاور پلانٹ جوائنٹلی کنسٹرکٹڈ ود دی اسسٹنس آف چائنا ان کراچی ٹوڈے شباز شریف ہیز تھینکڈ آل فرینڈلی کنٹریز فار دیئر کنڈولنسز آن دی لاس آف پریشس لائفز ان دی پشاور ٹریجڈی Pakistan expects sincere cooperation from the Akhwan interim government to address the challenge of terrorism. And North Korea has warned of tit-for-tat response if the US and its allies did not refrain from the reckless military drills and hostile acts on the Korean peninsula. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shabash Sharif today inaugurated the third unit of the Karachi nuclear power plant built in partnership with China in Karachi. With the inauguration of the unit, 1100 megawatts of electricity will be added to the national system, bringing the total production of Karachi nuclear power plant to 2200 megawatts. The Prime Minister unveiled the K3 power plant plaque and also planted the sapling. Sin Chief Minister Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, Federal Minister for Power Khuram Dastagir Khan and others were also present on the occasion. Prime Minister Mohammad Shabash Sharif has thanked all the friendly countries for their condolences and profound sympathies on the loss of precious lives in the Peshawar tragedy. In a tweet, he said, We deeply value this show of solidarity at this difficult time. The Prime Minister said, With the support of our people, we will crush terrorists and eliminate them from our soil. Finance Minister Mohammad Isaak Dar has expressed the government's resolve to make all-out efforts to transform banking system in accordance with the Islamic teachings and injunctions. Virtually addressing the National Islamic Economic Forum's conference on Roadmap for Islamization of the Economy, he said it is a big challenge to switch over the prevailing banking system according to Shariat. However, it is our desire to get rid of the interest-based banking system as soon as possible. The Finance Minister expressed the government's determination to make Pakistan and economic power after nuclear power. Pakistan expects sincere cooperation from the Akhwan interim government to address the challenge of terrorism and hopes that Afghanistan will live up to its commitments made with the international community and Pakistan in this regard. This was stated by Foreign Office spokesperson Mumtaz Zara Baloch while replying to a question during her weekly news briefing in Islamabad today. She said, Terrorism is a common threat to both Pakistan and Afghanistan and we must take a strong stance against such entities and use violence against innocent citizens and law enforcement agencies. The spokesperson expressed Pakistan's resolve to root out the evil of terrorism and safeguard the security of every citizen. China's top leadership has assured its support to Pakistan in countering terrorism, promoting national action plan, ensuring security of people and stability of the country. The assurance was given by Chinese President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Qiang in a condolence message addressed to Prime Minister Shabash Sharif in which they condemned the terrorist attack in a mosque in Peshawar. President Xi and China is ready to deepen counter-terrorism cooperation with Pakistan for peace and security in the region and the world. Consul General of Sri Lanka, Jagat Abirwarma, called on Sindh Chief Minister Sayyid Murad Ali Shah at Chief Minister House in Karachi today. Bilateral relations and issues of mutual interest were discussed on the occasion. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian authorities today demolished a shopping complex owned by Hurriyat leader Qazi Yasir in Islamabad town. The Modi-led fascist regime has intensified victimization of people and organizations affiliated with the ongoing freedom movement by confiscating and demolishing their properties. Recently, several properties of Hurriyat leaders and Jamaat-e-Islami leaders have been confiscated or razed to the ground in Srinagar. North Korea has warned of tit-for-tat response if the US and its allies did not refrain from their reckless military drills and hostile acts on the Korean peninsula. In a statement, the North Foreign Ministry threatened to turn the region into a huge war arsenal and a more critical war zone. It said Pyongyang is not interested in dialogue as long as Washington pursues confrontational policies. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.